What's up, guys? I want to thank uh, So Ready to Go Home for, for uh, bringing this to my attention, but uh, this is a bill in Georgia about the death penalty and guillotines, which just kind of makes my mouth drop. And uh, I want to go and look over this bill with you. It's just, uh, I, I don't even have words for it. Uh, this is a bill HB 1274 about the death penalty and guillotines. Uh, this is an old bill. I don't know really if it was passed. Some say it wasn't, and uh, but that's not the point. The point is this was even brought up in legislature. I mean, it is mind blowing to me. But uh, and it talks about the death penalty and to provide death by guillotine right here in their own words. Um, and basically, if you want to know why they want to do it, it's for money. Uh, finds that while prisoners condemned to death may wish to donate one or more of their organs for transplant, and any desire is thwarted by the fact of electrocution makes it makes all uh, organs un unsuitable for transplant. The intent of the guillotines is that uh, it makes the the organs compatible with, with donation by a uh, guillotine because it keeps them preserved. Uh, and this is mind blowing uh, about the guillotines. And uh, this is the actual uh, legislation. Now, I don't know why this was crossed out. I don't know much about bills, but uh, this is not crossed out. At the election of the condemned punishment, they can uh, either choose electrocution or guillotine. If the condemned fails to make election by the 13th day preceding the date scheduled for execution, punishment will be by execution. Um, this just I ain't got no words for it and then this kills me too and then you go to Bill HB 1085 death penalty by television to be televised kind of sort of remind me of the running man uh, the inmates were condemned to death penalty so they put them in a death match and everybody just watched uh, it's just uh, the death penalty uh, will be televised executions I mean, if this all this stuff doesn't read New World Order to you, uh, Revelations, I don't, I don't even know what to tell you. This is right in our face, guys. Wow. I mean, in our face. I mean, in our face. And, uh, and it was foretold, but man, just to see it in a bill. And even this bill wasn't passed. When the New World Order reigns, and the son of perdition shows his face, he's not gonna care a one bit about a bill. You see what Obama's doing? He went to war with Libya without congressional approval. He does not care. When you get a dictator in office, they're not gonna care about yeas and nays of the Senate vote. The dictator's gonna have the yay. But I don't even have any, anything else to say about that. And going back to this uh, as just information, but I wouldn't doubt if it's true or not. May 3rd, 2012, uh, guillotines were unloaded at Long Beach Port. Uh, Ex-Navy uh, saw them and uh, saw the cargo was labeled out of China. It's an interesting piece. Um, and then there's also, there's some, you know, whether it's true or not, this woman named Pam something uh, said she saw the uh, railroad cargoes with... Um, chains in there not chains but uh, uh prison straps or whatever you call them and had guillotines in the cargoes and just made her stomach turn you gotta you gotta really wonder what is really going on some people say that bill uh, never passed and would never be used anyway so what's the point because the word of god doesn't lie and you see the scene being set up revelations thirteen fifteen: as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed how are they killed Revelations 24, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus. Why were they beheaded? Because they neither had received the mark of the beast. I mean, it's right in front of your face. I mean, we're, we're seeing it unfold. And it's interesting that it was, uh, they try to bring it up in Georgia because Georgia is the notorious for the Georgia Guidestones. And what's interesting is commandment number one maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature and then on top of that you got all those fema coffins just sitting down there in storage 
like 200,000 or more of them just sitting there waiting to be used. You gotta wonder what are they about to be used for.